This is only the small terminal part of what is actually a very large cell. So we're only seeing a small part of this very large motor neuron. This right over here would be a neurolemocyte or a Schwann cell, and there's another Schwann cell represented right over here. These Schwann cells are providing myelination for this axon of this motor neuron. This is the axon terminal. And if we look more closely at it, you can see what happens at this axon terminal. You can see how there is a number of branches that occur at the, this axon terminal. And at the very end of these branches, you see these swellings. These would be referred to as the synaptic end bulb or the synaptic end knobs. This is where you find a, a large concentration of the vesicles which contained the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Now over here, what we're seeing, the synaptic end knob has been removed so that you can see the sarcolemma a little bit better. And if we look more closely at the, the sarcolemma, you can see that it has this wrinkled or corrugated appearance because of the wrinkling, the corrugation, there you can place a lot more receptors in this location to more effectively receive the message that is being provided by the release of acetylcholine. This region of the sarcolemma where you have this corrugation which contributes to the synapse is referred to as the motor end plate. Here is another view. You can see right over here is where the motor neuron has been cut and we can look at that more closely. You can see that the axon is within the center right over here, and it's surrounded by the myelination, the wrapping around of cell membrane of the neurolemocyte. If we follow along to the, the synapse, if we look closely at the relationship of these synaptic end bulbs to the sarcolemma, the white squiggly line that you see there again represents the motor end plate, that's the sarcolemma, which you can, again can see is wrinkled in order to increase the surface area. The red that is right over here that you can see in between the, the white squiggly line and this blue which would represent the cell membrane of the synaptic end bulb, that represents a space which is called the synaptic cleft. This is a space through which the acetylcholine, when it's released by the synaptic end bulb, would travel across in order to attach to the receptor molecules which would be present on the membrane of the motor end plate.